Hey guys, so welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. Let's carry on where we left off. It's the 16th of June, which means we've collected protein from Akihiko, which we can turn into Elizabeth. And that means, I think, she can be in a relationship with us. Because that's how it works in Persona 3 Portable. Do a couple of favors for a few girls, and suddenly they become smitten with you. <laughs> like Chihiro, and potentially Yuko. Although, of course, we still need to get Mitsuru's eye, but we're not a genius just yet, so let's, uh, let's wait on that. For now, though... Elizabeth, I've got your protein. Let's check our requests. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. This must be the brand of protein specially designed for amateur athletes. So this type of protein does exist. Then the name protein doesn't have anything to do with professionals. I see. Uh, no, it doesn't, actually. In fact, pro is a pretty common prefix for a lot of words. It means, uh, you know, for, or it contains something, usually. Thank you very much. I am sure this is valuable, so please take it back with you. As a result of this request, my master has ordered me to drink an entire bottle of protein in one go. Well, what's done is done. And this way, I might be able to go professional someday. Go professional doing what? And why is Igor ordering you to drink protein? Are you not buff enough or something? Please accept your reward. Alright, a blade fist. I'll happily take that. Is there anything else? Uh, yes, I would like to hang out with you. I believe you've got a quest for me regarding that. Oh, and I've actually got three Jack Frost dolls in my inventory, too, so this should be an instant reward. There's no deadline. I just need to... Yeah, there we go. That must be... Yes, it's the Jack Frost doll. I have a great fondness for Jack Frost. May I touch it? Oh, that kind of fondness, huh? Touching Jack Frost. Oh my, the soft texture. I had been thinking about making a request related to Jack Frost. My first idea was to have you show me a level 99 Jack Frost, but... I ended up making you fused one with Dia. I'm glad I decided on this request instead. This doll is too adorable. I prepared some special and adorable gloves for you. Why did you need three then? This weapon is both powerful and charming. Will promise you victory and laughter in battle. Please accept your reward. Jack's gloves. All right. Perfect. Last one. I need to take you to Iwatanai Station by July 5th. Okay, let's head back to the dorm. I've been informed there may be a recording that we can watch, even though I'm pretty sure I checked last time and there was nothing there, so maybe something happened this evening that's uh, allowing me to look. Nope, there's no new recordings. I've been scammed. That's okay. Back to Polonia Mall. Let's head to the arcade. Oh my god, it's Tanaka. Tanaka's here, and my charm is high enough I can bask in his presence. He, he will notice me. My, oh, you're handsome. It'd be perfect for the company image. <laughs> I don't know why I went for a British accent. I suppose my new headcanon is that he puts on a, a fake one for TV and this is his real one. <laughs> but he's just a high school student. If I trained him though... The man seems to be mumbling to himself. You seem to have caught his attention because of your charm. Hello there, young man. How would you like to have your dreams come true? I have a golden opportunity for you. Tell me more. I'm only saying this to you, so don't tell anyone, okay? I can make you rich. Guaranteed. Of course you can. You're Tanaka, owner of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Am I going to be your mascot or something? All you need is 20,000 yen, and your investment will multiply by 10... No, 100. Are you kidding me? Tanaka, are you part of an MLM? <laughs> and the best part is, you don't have to do a thing. You'll become fabulously wealthy while you sleep. Just give me the 20,000 yen, and I'll take care of the rest. Wait, what? I thought I'm supposed to be part of your company image. Why do I have to pay you money? 20,000 yen at that. Well, what do you say? Okay, you know what? Anything to get in, get in on the industry. You gave the man 20,000 yen. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Okay, well, I guess we don't uh, get to start a social league or anything. We've just given him 20,000 yen, which could have been better spent at the arcade at this rate. Sheesh. Hope I didn't get scammed twice tonight. First the recordings and now Tanaka. It's fine. Arcade games, what do we got? Horror House. Let's play. Watch a scary video in the small enclosed booth. Courage is greatly increased. Oh my god, we are now fearless. There's gonna come a point in time where I'll have nothing to do in the evenings because we've got all our social stints maxed up and we don't need to go to the arcade. It's getting late. Decided to go back to the dorm. Might not even need to go to the nurse's office anymore. Your cold is not gone yet. Maybe I still need to. You overhear a conversation. Hey, did you hear there are openings in the culture clubs? Really? I guess some students transferred out. But it sounds interesting. I'm tired of going straight home with no extracurriculars. Let's go check it out after school. First bell is rung. 
Oh no, don't tell me Bebe went home. That's not an opening. Surely not. All right, let's get started. Palace, our own Azimonis. We all need to start somewhere. Rome wasn't built in a day. The same goes for magic. It's important to learn the basics. So today I'll tell you about the origins of magic. Long, long ago, at the dawn of civilization, man created primitive religions. Animism, totemism, and shamanism all fall into this category. You learn them in world history, right? The last one, uh, shamanism, is important to the origins of magic. You know, shamans shamans would fall into a trance state and act as the intermediary between the worlds, but uh, it counts as magic, where humans can have the power of gods and spirits in their own hands. Clearly, I still believe it. The, the shaman-style magical tradition would later be embraced by witches. You know, witches. Take the common European witch as an example, because they were very common back then. Yeah. People today think witches derive their power from contracts with the devil. But uh, that's just the image that Christianity imposed on them. The witches' predecessors were more like maidens serving the gods. It was through prayer to those gods that they earned their powers. They learned to control their magic without losing consciousness during their trance states. That's how they originally awoke to magic, believe it or not. Originally, Europe was full of religions that worshipped a slew of various gods. Totally wasn't uh, the case in Asia as well. No, no survey. Definitely didn't have a bunch of gods here. They were generically called paganism. And for your information, the celebrations of Christmas and Halloween have pagan backgrounds. Uh, are, are you still listening? No trans states now. <laughs> I'll give you a little test to see if you're paying attention. Get it wrong and your afterlife won't be pleasant. Palas Aron Azimomus. Who should I pick? Uh, Alright, so I asked thee. What formed the origins of magic? Oh god. That hurts to do that voice. I have to do a weird shape with my mouth. Uh, shamanism is what formed the origins of magic. Ah, very good. You'll be born into your next life as a human again. Oh, thank you, Mr. Edgar. I'm so glad you're the one in control of that. You get to decide whether I'm born as a human or not. Now that paganism and Christianity have a tighter connection to one another than you'd think. As the Roman Empire grew stronger, so did the population of Christians in the Empire. At first, each religion carried on its own worship separately, but you gave the correct answer. God, his lectures are always so long-winded. Your charm has increased. Whew. As long as I don't reincarnate as a rat. Class is in for today. Seems certain clubs are still recruiting. You can find the appropriate room, you might be able to join. Okay, that's good to know. I saw a girl in Gothic Lolita get up in front of the station. Man, she was so cute, I had to go up and ask her out. I said, hey, wanna catch a movie or something? But she didn't even move, except for her breathing. She didn't even bother looking my way. My ego still hasn't recovered. Okay, we're hearing a lot about this uh, Gothic girl. Probably need to see her for myself. Kari, any ideas? Did you hear so, Ken? Photography club, art club, and music club are recruiting new members. Oh, these clubs. Sorry. Okay. I heard Fuka's in one of them, but which one was it? Ooh, she is? I wonder if that's going to start a social link if I pick her club. Although I have to say, we haven't really started any social links with our C's club. Apart from the fact that I know we can do one with Mitsuru, but we're not a genius yet, so that has to wait. Yuko, Bebe are available. Good to know Chihiro is not because it's Wednesday glad. It's funny that uh, ever since we got into a relationship, I've kind of been avoiding her, trying to make sure I don't bump into her in the hallway. I heard from a friend online that this freaky site that's really taking off, she said it's about revenge or something. Whoa. Revenge site, huh? Interesting. Okay, I remember to go to the nurse's office because we still have one point of courage left to gather. That's fine with me. Let's, uh, let's explore town a little bit and see what we've got going on, especially with this gothic Lolita girl. And then we'll probably come back and see if we can join a club, shall we? The culture club's recruitment drive seems to have started. There's three clubs, music, art, and photography. You can observe any of them before joining. They've got a different feel than the sports club, so think hard before joining one. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like the athletes where uh, there's three different ones, and I guess it doesn't matter which one I join. It's going to... Uh, Modify itself accordingly. Have you heard that crazy rumor that's going around online? You can get revenge on someone just by signing up at a website. Okay, is that going to be a plot point though? I wonder. I asked my friend if his cat was really expensive. You know what? He said it was free. He said his mom got the cat from the animal shelter. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you could only get cats from pet stores. Oh, that's right. I bought some cat food a long time ago and I haven't fed the cat anything and I was hoping to maybe get you one. That's something I'll put on my to-do list as well as hang out with Elizabeth this afternoon. Man, I'm so lazy these days. I think I've got that, uh, apathy syndrome thing. Careful. God, I, uh, I was just kidding. You didn't have to say that all so menacingly, like... I hear there's a growing movement th in on the internet these days. I don't know what it's called, but this one guy is gathering lots of users around him. I'm not sure what he's up to or why, but... They say people just naturally take to him because he understands them. Maybe I should check him out sometime. 
Okay, interesting. It's nothing to do with that revenge side, is it? Times have changed, but some things, like school ghost stories, never die. I used to sneak into the school grounds at night. The teachers would give me holy hell for it. Why would you want to sneak into school at night? <laughs> Surely you've had enough of it during the day. I'm getting hungry. Should we stop somewhere and grab a bite to eat? Ooh, let's get some of Octopia's takoyaki. But it's at the... What did I strip mall? We'll have to take the monorail. Oh, woe is you, taking a monorail somewhere. Sheesh. You go down the side street, you'll come to a spot where gangs gather. They always leave garbage behind and spray graffiti all over the walls. And every time, I'm the one who has to clean it up. I'm going to catch those gangs someday and make them clean it up themselves. You're just a station attendant, buddy, I'm afraid. You have no jurisdiction or power here. I heard about the disaster from someone I know who works at Gekkon High. Yeah? I think it's awful the way those students are falling victim to apathy syndrome. It's probably because of all the excess studying. Why would they study so hard? I hope they don't have delusions of going to a famous university and getting a high-powered job. What the hell's a high-powered job? Where you plug yourself in? Gotta find something to talk about, but what? He's really overthinking this. He looks suave, but he worries about what other people think too much. I mean, I love that he cares about my opinion, but I think I'd prefer it if he didn't feel so nervous in front of me. You know, girls don't want you to bend over backwards, bowing down and worshipping all their opinions, guy, okay? That's how you get friend-zoned, believe me. Kenji! You still exist. Hey, so, if I were to give Emiri a present, it should probably be something like a bouquet of flowers, right? Yeah, I bet if I gave her something like that, our relationship would get a lot closer. <laughs> hey, good luck, man. I just... I just don't think I'm any help to you. I'm pretty sure you can work it out yourself. Here's the cat. Mew. Damn it. Don't I have cat food? Do I need to bite again? Super cat food. There it is. You want it? Eat it! Take it from my hand! There's some shit went down here. Our guys against the gecko morons. That wasn't you, was it? <laughs> nah. You don't look like you could piss those guys off that bad. No? Well, you're right. It wasn't me. But man, why would some gecko candy asses come here? Students should stay home and do their homework or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. They shouldn't go out whatsoever. Okay, let's get uh, Elizabeth out here, shall we? Elizabeth, time to go on our date. Ah, I've been expecting you. Shall we be on our way? Let us go. Igor, hope you don't mind. At Iwatanai Station, Elizabeth is running down the escalator. Huh? For some reason, she's running down the up escalator. I knew it! Because that's what you do. Flowing stairs that must be mastered by those who would try to pass. So this is an escalator. Yes, and you're really escalating the situation by, you know, becoming something of a public nuisance. It looks simple. But one false step, and challengers will be mired in an exhausting ordeal. Yes. Warning. Please refrain from going up the down escalator, and vice versa. Thank you. Oh my god, so embarrassing! Oh, I don't want to be seen with her, gosh. Don't you hate it when someone, you're with someone and you know they're doing something, you know, they're, they're doing some troublemaking, and they get told off, and you're, like, associated with them, and you're just like, oh my god. You have, been <laughs> you have been warned. It seems Elizabeth doesn't realize that the warning was directed at her. And what's this? Stairs? Please watch your step. There's a pitfall just ahead. Uh, I don't see one. It's over here. Where? Don't push it's me in into the it. the center of this fenced-off area. Oh. It's marked with eye-catching signs which state in bold print, Do not enter. It makes sense to me. You want it to be eye-catching so people know not to enter it. Humans frequently crave that which is forbidden to them. Yes. Typically, when it's attractive, falling down a manhole isn't quite attractive. This is a crafty <laughs> snare that goes against the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Mmm, the very deceiving trick, this one. A stairway that tests one's wits, and a pitfall that tests one's inner strength. Please don't jump down. I'm not coming to get you. Human authorities have a great deal to contend with in their quest to defend the town's law and order. <laughs> I'm very moved by their plight. Let's continue forth. Our thoughts dedicated to the unsung heroes who love this town so very much. Yes. <laughs> She's so bizarre. You want that ice strip mall? This, this fragrant aroma, it can't be. Food? Elizabeth took off running. Oh god, I need to put a leash on her. Come back here. Whoa, 
you can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Oh, shit. Oh, I guess you don't wear those funky clothes for nothing, lady. Why does Optopia have a logo with a... An octopus with a gun? <laughs> well, there ain't a law. And a martini. Takoyaki shops cooking stuff besides octopus. How about it? You want to buy one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Oh, wow. Cuisine so luscious that one's cheeks fall off. She's not being literal. Such a result would cause havoc in reality, but I'd definitely like to experience this. Okay. Elizabeth produced a bulging wallet. You're buying that many? I have never seen a person who has actually lost his or her cheeks. Yeah, well... You're gonna have to keep looking. This must mean that the ordinary citizen cannot easily buy these. <laughs> oh, upon closer inspection, one package is only 400 yen. Oh, too cheap for you, is it? She looks upset. W well then, two packages, please. <laughs> Thanks. Here you go, and come again. Okay. I don't think we will be coming again. I'm not letting her out of the velvet room ever, ever again. He stood side by side eating the takiyaki. This distinct texture. The firm, chewy outer skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to come across this used as an ingredient in food. What is this? Are your cheeks okay? May seem to still be in place. Disappointing. And in any event, there are many other delicacies I feel I must try. Hey, we can go to Wild Duck Burger. We can crash that girl who was always outside Gekkan High waiting for her boyfriend. Apparently they have a date there today. I must take care not to lose my cheeks before sampling each and every one of them. Oh, you do that. You finished eating takoyaki. There appear to be several dining establishments around. I wish to try all of them. My first priority is to visit something called a manga cafe and obtain the food stuff known as a smoothie bar. A smoothie bar? This smoothie bar allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various ingredients. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. Wow, okay. That's a sentence I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> it's concerning that I've heard that sentence before, actually. He decided to show Elizabeth around the eateries. We appear to have exhausted the culinary possibilities in this area. I knew you would go to Wild Duck Burger. I hope that Gekkan girl noticed us, and I waved at her. Oh, my. <laughs> Are you feeling well? No, I've got a cold, and Mr. Edagawa gave me this shitty concoction that doesn't work. Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. <laughs> In any event, I have to thank you for the tasty experience. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'd very much enjoy accompanying you again. Well, you're more than welcome to. Just give me the quest. He headed back to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you for answering my request. Well then, thank you for showing me around Iwatadai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and of course, the cornucopia of curious cuisine. The people's lives there were quite different from those at Polonia Mall the other day. So that I might not forget what we saw, I'd like to recreate some of the dishes we tasted. First, I must hunt for ingredients. <laughs> This'll be so much fun. As for your reward, I've again prepared something special. With this, you can fuse Empusa. Its looks remind one of a beautiful beast, yet she too rises from the sea of your soul. I wish I could gain a greater appreciation for what your soul is like. Okay, well, I'm sure it'll <laughs> bring an electric taste across your tongue. Please accept your reward. Not a taste, a tingle, sorry. A blue scale. Is there anything else? No, I think I'm about done. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Even though you've been here a while, I'm leaving. Bye! Whew. God, I can barely walk. I've eaten seven meals. Okay, time to join a club. What do we want to join? There's Home Economics. We won't be joining that one. We're already part of it. Music, science, art, laboratory. Where's the photography class? Okay, I swear I've looked everywhere, but there is no photography class here. Just music and art. Interesting. Science room. Oh, the science room is the photography club. I see. Seems to be the dark room for the photography club. There's a note that says, Photography club, new members, welcome. Picture yourself here. Would you like to join? Yeah, probably want to join the uh, 
photography club, but let's observe. Let's see what they got going on in here. Whoa. Kick on high school science room. You observed the photography club. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that, that, that helped. Yeah, I've totally made my decision. <laughs> let's go. Kick on high school science room. Huh? Um, you're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Fukusan? Yeah, this is the guy I was just telling you about. Oh, so this is him, huh? You must be so good. I've heard a lot about you from Fukusan. So we're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned your name. I'm really happy you decided to stop by. Um, I'm Keisuke Yuraga. P pleased to meet you. He's supposed to be pleased to meet you, Kais Keisuke Senpai. You're the club leader, after all. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> he always acts like this. Things are going well. Fukusan decided to return to the club, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe we should stay club leader for a little while longer. Hey, Keisuke Senpai, you're a senior, right? You must have finals coming up soon, huh? Uh, no, I, uh. Hey, Sokun, are you good at taking photos? Not really. Well, don't worry. You don't have to be a professional photographer to join this club. I mean, I'm a novice, and I'm the club leader. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in joining the photography club, just write your name on the sign-up sheet. You've been welcomed by Keisuke. You've joined the photography club and became friends with the club members, I think. Although the other ones already seem kind of hostile to me. I wouldn't say hostile's the right word, but you know what I mean. Definitely not welcomed welcomed. Ooh. Is this, uh, Fortune, I believe? Now I and I am now, that was assumption you bond. That should be blessed when creating personas of the Fortune Arcana. Good to know. Only new because of the wheel. Culture Club. Oh. Photography Club <laughs> is the Fortune Arcana. Didn't realize it was going to be specific. Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So be sure to sign your name on the sign-up sheet. Photography Club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But there's no activities right before tests. Stay home and get your studying done. You're not required to attend every day, just try to come as much as you can. I'm really surprised we're in the same club. After joining the club, you decide to go back to the dorm. Why are you surprised we're in the same club? We're in the same dorm! Oh, hey! Hello! Let me tell you about my persona. It's strong against ice, but it's weak against fire. As you know, nothing is perfect. Just keep that in your mind. Wait, it's strong against ice? You mean, your persona uses ice attacks, right? I don't think it's strong against ice. You look sick, are you okay? Junpei-kun said you're playing an online video game. Is that true, Sokun? Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. He's a lying son of a bitch. But Junpei-kun gave it to you, right? You'll just go to waste if you don't play it. Besides, you might have a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Should I say, yes, uh, it is true, I'm playing a game. Oh, so you can play with people from all over the country, right? Oh, uh, yeah. All over the world, actually. It's called the Internet. World Wide Web. You can only do that with an online game. Balance is very important in battle. You need power, stamina, skill, speed, and luck. Of course, my persona is developing along those lines. Good to know. Mitsuru Senpai has moved from supporting us to fighting with us. She can do anything. Do you think the loss will ever be cured? No, I don't think so. That's true, then. Whoa, dude. I'm starting to freak out just thinking about it. <laughs> don't think about it. Don't think too hard, Junpei. You turned on the television. Come to Polonia Mall to see us. We won't be there, though. Phoenix Ranger, Feather, Feather Man R, every Sunday. Don't miss it. And now the news. Damn it, Tanaka's not here. He really did take my money and ran off. That asshole. It's fine. <laughs> Quiz game. Get our academics up. We'll be a genius someday. Oh, not today, though. 18th. We recovered. Brilliant. Uh-oh. Velvet Room music. Your cell phone rang. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I have business with you, so please come to the Velvet Room at your earliest convenience. It is an important matter that involves you. I will be waiting. Okay, the call ended. I got school, though. Get over your conversation. Kiricho Company was in the news again yesterday. Damn, I missed it. I tuned out as soon as I uh, heard the news was coming on the TV. Kiricho? The student council president? You know, the Carrijo company built this whole school. I wonder how a company that big was contracted to build a school. First bell is wrong. It is suspicious. 
Very suspicious, according to our old documents as well. It's finally time for lunch. I wonder if Mitsuru knows anything. Oh, what a coincidence! Are you coming to the club today? I haven't decided yet. Well, if you don't have anything better to do, you should come. It'll be fun. Let's try and make it through the rest of our classes. See you later. For the, the photography club beats today. Maybe you should attend. Maybe. Lunch break's almost over. Back to class. You recall that Elizabeth had some important matters to discuss with you. In any case, you need to head to the velvet room. No choice in the matter here. I'm sorry to call for you. To tell the truth, there seems to be someone inside Tartarus, between floors 44 and 47. It seems to be someone without the potential, who heard the voices of the shadows. Oh my god, we're gonna have like a risky mission? Is that a thing now? If left alone, they will become lost in your world and may die. Please find them and return them. There will be times when people wander into Tartarus. If they are not rescued by the next full moon, they will be lost. Information about missing people can be seen on the bulletin board at the police box in Polonia Mall. If you can rescue these people, Officer Kurosawa will reward you. Okay, well, looks like i got something else to do on some evenings. And I could always use some grinding too. I... Uh, I kind of rushed through the levels at the end because I was trying to get recordings done. That's, I don't have the luxury of time to just spend hours wandering every floor trying to collect every item and level up, you know? It's the bulletin board with details about the people who are missing. Someone new has been posted on the bulletin board. Look at the currently missing people. Ayako Yoshimoto, age 18, sex female, occupation Kekakan High, senior, didn't return from school on the 17th of June. Last seen around 9 o'clock at Polonium Mall. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's rescue. Let's rescue her tonight. Why not? I came to the arcade the other day and I saw this guy. He was tossing a ball up in the air and catching it. I wonder what that was about. It doesn't look like any kind of toy or prize they offer here. We should ask him next time I see him. I don't know who you saw, but it does sound interesting. Okay. Well, I know what we're doing this evening, but what are we doing this afternoon? Alright, photography club it is. Oh, Sokun, I'm going to club right now. What are you going to do, Sokun? I've got Fortuna this time. Let's go to the meeting. Oh, let's, let's go together. Kesuke seems happy. Kick on high school science room. The inside of the dark room smells like developing solution. The hours flew by while you were having fun. Kick on the high school May lobby. Huh. Luca is grimacing. What's wrong? There's been a lot happening to me. There's been happening... This has been happening to me a lot lately. Sorry, I'm all uh, tongue twisted today. Fuka seems to be in pain. I just have a little headache. It's no big deal, really. You should really determine the cause of your headache. It could lead to further complications down the road. It could be the red room. Where are you experiencing the pain? Is it on one or both sides of your head? Can you describe the pain? Is it dull, aching, throbbing? KSK is trying to determine exactly what is wrong with Fuka. Somehow he's a medical professional. Uh-oh, Keisuke Senpai is playing doctor again. Looks like Fuka-san's not going anywhere for a while. Is she okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. Keisuke Senpai is like a walking medical journal. We all appreciate his helpfulness, but it can get a little annoying after a while. The members of the club's side. Keisuke Senpai's father is the director of a large hospital. I guess he just can't stand to see people in pain. I bet he'll go to medical school and become a doctor. So the pain is emanating from the back of your head. Please turn around. What you're suffering from is known as a chronic tension type headache, most likely a result from stress. You must be spending too much time in front of the computer. You should get outside and exercise more. That advice must sound funny coming from the leader of the photography club. <laughs> oh, I thought I might have come down with the flu or something. Well, if you're worried about that, I should perform a more detailed examination. Open your mouth, let me stick my finger in. <laughs> Please remove your shirt, open your mouth, and stick out your tongue. <laughs> Here, in the lobby! Huh? Uh, that's okay, I'm fine. Anyways, my dorm is close by and my dorm mate Token is here. You guys are dorm mate. You guys are dorm mates? <laughs> wow, I can see how Fuka lives in the dorm. I mean, she's a girl, so she knows how to cook and clean. <laughs> oh, Keisuke. Oh my god. But what about you, Sokun? Is it hard living on your own? I don't live on my own. I live in the dorm with people that are capable of dishes. It seems Keisuke wants to get to know you better. Your relationship is stronger now. Oh, that was a ride. And I only rank two. Oh, sorry, Fukusan. I completely forgot about you. You can put your shirt on now. Now, regarding your headache, I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Uh, on second thought, maybe a limousine would be better. Your ride would be much, much smoother. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really. So, can please just escort me out of here? It's getting dark out. 
After saying goodbye to the club members, you decide to go back to the dorm. Alright. Question is, though, is Hi. everyone available? How was your day? Uh, pretty sure you should know, Fuka. We were together the entire time. Well, at least the afternoon, anyway. How can I help you? Everyone can go tonight. Perfect. Well, time to rescue that girl and be a hero. Who are we bringing along with us? Probably Yukari for sure. Um, we might leave Junpei behind, actually, this time. He's leveled up. He's caught up. He's fine. Want me to go with you? All right. Bad. Let's go. Probably should have gone to the police station and equipped us with better weapons. You want me to accompany you? Yes, please. <laughs> I'll try to meet your expectations. Oh, you more than exceed them. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get going. All right, Junpei, hold the fort. You like to hang out with Fuka anyway, don't you? Um, what was it between 44 and 47? Oh. So, we're gonna need to use the teleporter for this one. I can't go back down, which is unfortunate, so I'm gonna have to start from 36. Let's do this. Okay, we made it to the 44th floor. If only our nav could actually tell us where this missing person was. It's like it's up to us to clear the entire there floor. Are two spread out and search the area. Yep, because you won't do it for us. <laughs> we'll spread out. Thankfully, we're still in close enemies. enough range that we can battle go. with each other. There's someone on this floor. Find them, please. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Fuka. I knew I could count on you. I knew you were completely useless. Okay, team. We got this. Let's find her after we take out there these are two snakes. Enemies. There she is. We got her. She's being guarded by this giant pile of goop. Watch Eek out. To win. There are four enemies. And Yukari still hasn't got Maguru, so... God, we're gonna have to do this one by one. You're safe now. Ah. Uh, uh, is that one of the ones who went missing? We need to treat them as soon as possible. Please come back to the entrance immediately. Return to the entrance with the person who was reported missing? Nah, let's just leave her here. No, let's go back, of course. Seize the day. It's a good thing you were able to find the missing person. They're resting in a safe place now. You can go on and keep exploring if you want. Uh, no. You know what? I think I'm good. I've done all I need to in here. Uh, unless there's another quest. Let's have a look. Okay, I suppose I can get five bronze figurines. There is a deadline, 5th of July, and blocks 41, or floors, sorry, 41 to 46. I've just been there. So, might take care of this before heading back. Let's get it done. Well, I've been hunting these dice, and so far, well, no dice, unfortunately. I might just have to call it, because... I'm getting tired, three and just as I do, of course one appears before me. Well, we try to get those bronze statues, but truth be told, those dice were very rare to encounter. So we only got two in the end. We might come back to Tartarus at a later date, so let's not discount that quest completely, but for now, I'd really like to get back to the dorm. Whew. I'm tired. Yes, I am. Alright, I gotta remember on the 20th I've gotta collect something, so let's not forget that. What's up, so? You wanna to practice today? I have Ares, the chariot. Would you go to practice today? Yeah, why not? Yeah, it takes dedication, but no one's more dedicated than me. Well, let's go. Kazushi seems happy. Probably should have gone to the uh, nurse's office, but at this point, I've almost maxed out my courage. You know, one visit isn't going to make much of a difference, especially when I can go to the arcade. We got a nice little indoor swimming pool. All right, let's push it. As you spend time with Kazushi, the bond between you two grew strong. Great, our relationship will grow stronger soon. Back to the dorm. These days are flying Sup, by. Sup? Sorry, I'm on my way to the store. Cause you know, you didn't fucking invite me to go to Tartarus last time. So, you know what? Screw you guys. Junpei is left. <laughs> okay. You look sick, are you okay? Not really. These people already have plans so they can't go out tonight. Junpei. Junpei's gonna be at the store at midnight, is he? What's he gonna do? Shop during the dark hour while the freaking cashier is a coffin? That son of a bitch. Sneaky prawn. I thought Mitsuru Senpai forced Fuka into this, but she's doing her best, so I have to do my best too. Yeah, damn straight. So, Waku. Huh, that's my name. <laughs> have you been monitoring your physical condition? Not really. If you get sick or tired, you'll become extremely weak in battle. You may also pass your illness on to the other members, so please pay closer attention to your condition. I can make other people sick? Uh-oh. Damn, Tanaka's still not here. I swear that guy ran off with my money. Okay, horror house it is to make up for the fact that I didn't go to the nurse's office. Twentieth, I'm still tired, so 
I can make time. Yeah, we are a conversation. Oh, my teacher told me about Mitsuru Kirijo, the student council president. She's going overseas after she graduates. Probably so she can run the Kirijo company later. Wow, that's crazy. She's so different from us. The funny thing is, I hear she still lives in the dorms. I wonder why. Maybe her parents were strict when she was growing up. <laughs> Maybe. And now she's drunk on power, leading the Seas Club. Uh oh. Mind if I interrupt? Oh, uh, what? I haven't been doing anything. I was just told by the chairman that he'll be stopping by this evening. Okay. When you get back, come to the fourth floor meeting room. Gotcha. Oh, um, okay. Oh, sorry, you were talking to Yukari. Am I exempt from this meeting? I'll see you all later. Nope. It's her left. I'm curious about what she meant. You decided to go straight home. Oh, okay. In front of the door. Fuka and Yukari have returned home early and are playing with a white dog. Koro-chan, give me your paw. Ooh, we're getting a team dog? <gasps> team mascot? Oh, he did it! What a smart dog. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Hey, you're back. That's me, yeah. What's, can I can I pet him? Sure. Koro-chan, go say hi. Quick, I need you something to cheer that, me up. Right? The dog nuzzled you. His name's Korumaru. Korumaru, Oh. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Right. Is he trying to beg you to complete some requests people have made? Oh. This dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean, still goes on walks by himself? Passing woman spoke up. What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Right. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. That explains it. Well, until the priest passed away. I was about to say, where is he? Maybe he's walking the dog in the afterlife and we can't see it. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? Maybe Mr. Edagawa reincarnated the priest as some sort of cockroach, and the cockroach is actually walking alongside the dog somewhere. It was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Oh, no. Ever since then, that dog sits patiently by the sight of the accident. Damn it, not one of these sad dog stories. And he goes for a walk every day, just like when his owner was still alive. The woman seems to be very talkative. Oh, shoot, I have to get going. My son will be back soon. Go on, I'm petting the dog here. The woman left. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Good boy. Huh? What's wrong? Uh-oh. Oh, nothing. Sorry. Are you sure? Wait, isn't the chairman coming today? He is. Then we should go get ready. Yeah. See you later, Korochan. What do you mean get ready? Do we have to like dress up for him? <laughs> Cute dog. The dormitory command room. Everyone is already gathered. Hello, everyone. Hello. I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. Okay. This concerns those shadows that have been appearing during full moons. I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. All right, I'm all ears, even though I'm tired. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. It's like their class or order. Ooh. Now, I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and it's simply fascinating. Really? Those four shadows belong to categories one through four, in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. Is that something we should be excited about? <laughs> oh, I get it. There's 12 in all. Right. Eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Fuka. You're quite sharp. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's smart when she wants to be. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question. And that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. It can be considered predation. But is it really? Is there an underlying intent behind their behavior? Maybe they're just parasites leeching onto a host. The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. Hmm. But no matter what, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. Eight more, and we're in June. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last, so we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. We do? What about Tartarus? Why does it even exist? <sighs> Mitsuru? Hmm. The pieces are falling into place one by one. 
but the shadows that appear when the moon is full. I wonder what their purpose is. I wonder if the little boy wants to tell me. Eight of them remain. Still have a long road ahead of you. Mitsuru? What was that all about? Up in the command room. I'm thinking right now. If you're looking for someone to talk to, you've got the wrong person. Sorry, yet yeah, we carry on thinking. Hmm? You need something to wipe off your glasses? Uh, well, I have something, of course, but you don't wear glasses. I was gonna say, I don't wear glasses. You might need some new ones. Aha! Now I see it clearly. Get it? <laughs> it's not for your glasses. It's for a friend, right? It's nice of you to look after him. Well then, by all means, take this. It looks stingy, but it works very well, in fact. Your friend's glasses will shine like the sun. Ah, of course. This is what, uh, Elizabeth wanted. Glasses wipe. Thank you. Okay, so, that was the item. Good to know, I didn't forget. Don't worry about the shadows getting stronger. We'll continue to progress up Tartarus. We'll have to do our best. If we do, we'll win. If we don't, we'll lose. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Alright, yeah, you're a very clever boy, Fuyu- Uh, no, Fuyuhiko. Oh my god. I think I'm Dagarumpa now. Akihiko. Sorry. He looks sick, are you okay? He doesn't even look like the boss baby. All we have to do is defeat the remaining eight, right? Then let's do it, man. Tartarus is filled with mysteries. Why did it appear? How long has it been there? You think we'll ever know the answers? I think we will by the end of the game. No new recordings, even though Kutsuki's downstairs? That's fine. Alright. Let's go chill with the others.